Hey guys, Naisha here, you know, just an average girl, and this episode is really just a cool down episode, because, um, I, I got a lot of stuff to do. My computer is in the process of a little transfer. My, um, this is not the hard drive, but it's in there right now. Um, one of my hard drives, um, is slowly dying, and I'm trying to save it, so whatever I can, I'm transferring it into little this little baby right here, and, you know... Things are progressing as I got as I go. I still have products to reveal. I still have to edit the Thanos gauntlet. And all this I'm working on a small tablet, which has a very small and slow processor. It's almost finished, so I look forward to going back on my desktop and doing editing. Because it's not the filming, it's the editing that takes forever in a day because I'm a perfectionist. What do you expect from me? Anyway, for in the meantime, enjoy this little recap as Diecast Norbs. Just wanted a quick little follow up on how I did. Um, this was right after the chip challenge and, and stuff. The the spiciness died down, and we're just talking and just you know just a little recap. So enjoy. Accepted. Yes. Hello and salutations. Salutations to you. How are you feeling? Uh, definitely, I'm not going to do that again. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. That that was definitely one for the books. I, I have yes. to admit that I, I you know, you, you keep watching it and you see that they're in pain, but it's like, you kind of wonder how much in pain and, and whatnot. So it, it, it was just curiosity. It honestly was. You know, there's something, uh, you know, curiosity killed a cat, right? I know. <laughs> That's the reason why they had nine lives. <sighs> Well, eight now. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm telling you, there are some things you just do not want to go through or anything like that. And I'm actually, I'm happy that you actually went through it. Salutations and like, you know, bravo. But let me tell you something. Oh man, I was actually worried there for a second because you were actually going through this whole thing where, yeah, like, yeah. I, I want to say like, it wasn't like your face transmorgified or anything like that. You know what I mean? But like your face was just like showing all of the pain that you were actually going through, you know? Exactly. It's like every orifice in my body was just pouring out. That's, that's what it definitely looked like. And I'm like, wow. It it's mm -hmm. you know, cause yeah, I honest you really have to have a constitution or either a dead tongue to be able to tolerate that stuff. Now it wasn't like I made sure to chew all of it because if I had like if I only chewed partial and I swallowed, I think some of the bits of it would have lingered and I think it would have made it worse. Oh man, well that's one of the reasons why I said maybe you want to double your toes in it first and everything like that because instead of like going full heartedly into it and everything, but like I don't know, has it killed anybody yet? No, <laughs> no. But is it like there? That kind of, you know. <laughs> but no, it's like, like every spice in the world combined in one chip. Because if that's what the Carol, because I know what the scorpion um, pe pepper tastes like because it's from Trinidad and Tobago. So we have right. scorpion pepper sauce and, and stuff that I put in food, just little dabs, but not, you know, a whole lot. So um, the, but the Carolina Reaper, I don't know what that tastes like. And that, once again, like yeah. I said, Yes, if, if death was to taste like that, that, <laughs> that would definitely be it, yes. Right. Kind of like death is at your door and everything like that, like looking at his watch going... <laughs> <laughs> but no, I do find it amazing, especially about the Diet Coke, because whatever aspartame and, and all that stuff in there, and the, and the combination of the ice, I kind of let it mm -hmm. sit in my tongue for a little bit before I, for, before I swallowed, and it worked. The honey, not so much, because yes, the honey helped, but then when you when I felt the spiciness start kicking in, I'm like, okay, I can't swallow it because I'm afraid that, you know, to have the honey, because uh, the honey was pretty much like tape and it was just picking up all the, the spiciness that was on my tongue and, and stuff. And if I swallowed it, I think it would have made it worse. So that's why I used mm -hmm. it as a, like a spittoon. And, and oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I get it. Yes, so that way it collects, Smart. and I just spit it out, and and. Well, I, I kind of like thought honey only because I knew like the nature of honey and everything was to like kind of like be thick enough to actually kind of like carry the spices away and everything like that. You know what I mean? So, 
and I was kind of like just skeptical that it would actually work, but it just made sense to me. So good. Yeah. But I'm 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 definitely much better right now. Um, little bits of the spiciness is still in my throat, in the back of my nostrils. My lips have have calmed down. Again, which I don't know how my lips were burning because I could have sworn I didn't, you know, bite into the chip. I, I tried to make sure to put the whole chip in my mouth to make sure that my lips didn't touch it, but it still, it still touched it. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, like it is uh, like your mouth, it, your lips are part of your mouth, your whole mouth and everything like that. Of course, it's going to happen, you know? I know, but, I know. But yeah. uh, I mean, okay, because my sister had me try this thing called the uh, Karma which was also mm -hmm. featured on Hot Ones. That was a different experience compared to this type of pain. This type of pain was nothing compared to the karma. The karma, when I tried it with my breakfast, because I, I tried a little dab of it with eggs, mm -hmm. the flavor was good. But the kick was like mind-numbingly bad and, and stuff. I couldn't think. I couldn't focus. This... Yes, my tongue was shaking and I could feel the pain, but I still could focus. I still could be like, okay, I know where I'm at. I know what's going on. The karma, karma was a big And I'd actually be skeptical about something called the karma too, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's that, was, actually like, that was number six in the hot ones. It, it, it that actually sounds like instant regret to me, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. So it was before um, the, the bomb. And, and whatnot so yeah, that so that's that so i i don't know if because i started eating spices maybe four months ago so i don't know if my tolerance for spices because now wasabi is nothing to me and and, and stuff jalapenos yes maybe every now and then but some spices mm -hmm. so that's why i figured that maybe i could do this but no this was a different sensation especially mm -hmm. on the tongue Everything else I was, you know, other than, you know, what was pouring out of me, eyes and, and nose and ears, because my ears, of course, you know, uh, clogged up and, and whatnot. But um, yeah, everything, it, it was really more the tongue. The tongue was the main focus. Everything else was nothing. So I, I, I don't, again, I don't know how people do this. This? So... Go That's ahead. what I said. I'm actually like, I wonder how you guys do it, you know? Because like, so like my brother, I was actually telling my brother about your experience and everything. And then all of a sudden, yeah, and this is why people actually can do this because each and every person actually says, nah, I can't be that bad, you know? Exactly. I can do it, you know? And every person, just like the, uh, just like the, um, what was that challenge? The cinnamon challenge, just like that. Every single person actually kind of feels like they can actually do better than the next. And I'm just like, mm. Mm -mm. Sad, really, you know. <laughs> and I don't want to be playing bagpipes at anybody's funerals or anything <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. You know, I want to make sure that every one of you actually live and everything. You know. So, are you recording this right now? Yes, yes, I am. Oh. Hold on. Let that be a cautionary tale, everybody. You know, like. <laughs> yes, don't be me. Uh, yeah, and stuff, no. So. I will actually make sure that I actually learn how to play bagpipes so I can actually do that at your funerals, you know? But don't make me do it. It'll, also, be, it'll be a sad day for me, indeed. Yes. I mean, I don't know if I deserve to, to, to post this because, I mean, I, I, I did crush it to an extent. I don't know. So did you crush it or did you get crushed? To see, that's like another thing altogether. You exactly. Know? So yeah, because the thing is, um, according to the scale and, and stuff, two minutes was as long as I last. So yes, I am considered powerless. I have no shame in that. I don't know how you could mm. do ten minutes. I honestly don't. Okay. See, if you guys were actually a street fight against these hockey chips and everything like that, you know, I think hockey would have actually kicked your asses and everything. That's all I'm saying, you know? Trash cans would have actually been used, you know? Like, it wouldn't have actually been a good thing. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know <laughs> I'll tell you about any more anything more than that. But um, I'm actually, I'm proud of you for going through it. Is pride the word, uh, is pride the word I've been looking for? I don't, I don't know. know if it's pride. <laughs> uh, I'm proud of you for trying something new, you know? But is pride really the word that I'm looking for here? Like, I think it should actually be like, 
I'm in awe at what you guys actually did today, you know? Or maybe surprised, um, yes. I I, I prefer awe or surprised, because yes, I'm mm -hmm. just as shocked that I actually did this, because... Chagrin. Yeah, because... I'm chagrin. <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I, I tried to toughen myself up. I honestly did. Because, you know, psyching myself out. No, no, not one bit. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. If someone dared me, I'll be like, nope, I I, I did it once. Because that, that, that's my um, New Year's resolution. I only do it once. I don't repeat it and and stuff. So, that that because, like, skydiving, I don't think I would ever do it again. It was a nice experience, but I don't think I would ever do it again. So, you know what I'd like to try? I'd like to try Jetman. You know, that thing that they actually have in Dubai and everything where they strap a jet onto your back and everything like that. And you're soaring off and everything like you're actually freaking Iron Man or something. You know? I would love that. Yeah. The one thing about it is that they don't have a way for you to stop. You'd actually have to like lose gas, I guess, and then just like parachute yourself down. And that might be un unpleasant. You know what I mean? But like, uh, it, it looks so cool though. Like I've actually seen these guys flying like past buildings and everything like that. I'm just like, oh, it's like they're a superhero. Yeah, like that's how, that would be a great experience. But I'd actually be worried about stopping. That's the only thing, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. Which they should but, uh, perfect that. <laughs> the only way for you to stop is by hitting a brick wall. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Like. While you were actually going through the whole thing, I was just like, wow, that looks really painful. I don't want to go through that. I don't want to see like, I don't want to seem like I'm not concerned. God damn it, look at what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But thank you for including me in your shenanigans and everything like that. I really appreciate it. But. Let me tell you something. This was probably one of the bravest things I've ever seen anybody do in their life, you know? I, I, I've i actually seen a, a person walking on nails and everything, you know? I've actually seen a nun taking down a 300 pound man. I've seen all that, but... Oh, but oh like, I thought you actually did. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you something. This is going down in the books. Yes, yes it is. Mm -hmm. The books so of everybody... stupidity, something I don't know, because li like I said, I'm. That's why I'm close. I'm, I'm going to be in my room for a while, getting ready for the aftermath. So, oh, uh, all right, guys. Uh, listen, this. I, I just wanted to. I wanted Nai to like actually give me a call back on her follow up to like uh, see exactly how she was actually doing after this, because I'm actually really recording all of this for prosperity and everything like that. So, yeah. all right, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm messing with you. This oh. is like a sci I should have actually done that as a scientist, though, you know? Yes. I should have put up my lab coat. <laughs> 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 oh, but I am actually off for now and everything. Thank you for including me in your shenanigans. Absolutely. You guys enjoy yourself. Happy New Year once again. Happy New Year's. Uh, for the first of the new year, this was actually a grand adventure. This is Diecast North signing off. And this is Naisha, and I'm just an average girl. <laughs>